When a tigress left her cub in the hands of a man, he found himself at a loss for words. Still, he found the courage to do something unbelievable, and later the tigress repaid his kindness. Yusuf lived with his wife and daughter in the bustling city. Here they thrived in their busy lives. Yusuf was a historian by trade and assisted in the local offices. Here he was a specialist in his field. His wife stayed at home and looked after their affairs, whilst his eight-year-old daughter attended school. Everything was as it should have been. That is, until one dark, fateful day. It seemed like any other day. Yusuf had arisen for work earlier than the rest of the household. He thought he would pop out and get some donuts to treat the family. However, when he returned to wake his wife and daughter, he found a disastrous scene. His wife was frantic, crying and shaking their little girl. Amelia, his daughter, wasn't responsive. She had a pulse but was completely unconscious. Mother and father quickly realized they needed to go to the hospital. That day, they found out that their daughter had been born with a genetic condition that made her very weak. Not only would she be unable to attend school in the future, but she wouldn't be able to lead a normal life at all. Yusuf and his wife were absolutely devastated. They had no idea what to do. They went home that day feeling utterly defeated. That is, until they got an interesting suggestion from a member of the family. They recommended that they move to this beautiful little village out in the countryside. There, the way of life was different, slower, quieter, better suited for a delicate girl like Amelia. If they were to fully enjoy each other's company as a family, the city would not be the right place for them to live in. After much thought, Yusuf and his wife decided to do it. It would be an adventure for them that could change things up for the better. Amelia deserved to be surrounded by beautiful nature and loving people, people who appreciated the quality of life the country had to offer them. Of course, moving to the countryside offered challenges too. It wouldn't just all be rainbows and sunshine. The family would have to adjust to a different way of living entirely, one that was not fast-paced at all, but rather more community-based. Everyone had their role to play in helping the community thrive in its own way. There were people that bred livestock to provide meat to the townsfolk, whilst others farmed vegetables and grains. Yusuf and his family just had to find where they could fit into the equation, and this is where some problems began to arise. After a few weeks of living in the little village, Yusuf decided he would survey the surrounding lands to map them out. He had some plans to help modernize the village a little. Every day, he went further and further into the woods, slowly documenting as he went. However, one day, he came across something very disturbing. He hadn't been hiking for more than 10 minutes when he came across a contraption that looked unnatural amongst the beautiful nature around it. He approached it cautiously to find that it was a trap of some sort. He found this to be extremely strange. What on earth could someone be trying to trap with such a big device? The answer Yusuf found was shocking to him. He quickly made his way back to the village, filled with questions, and went straight to the lead farmer of livestock. Yusuf figured that if anyone was going to know what the trap's purpose was, this was the man to ask. He was right. However, the answer he found was not quite what he was expecting. The farmer explained that there was a tiger in the area, a tiger that routinely hunted the farmer's livestock. The villagers had grown tired of its attacks and therefore had planted traps all on the outskirts of the woods as a deterrent. Yusuf understood their motives but was appalled by the fact they seemed not to care whether the tiger was killed or not in the process. He was horrified at this information. He had been under the assumption that everyone in the village valued nature in its highest form, especially a precious wildcat like a tiger. He argued with the villagers about their actions but was outnumbered. It was simple. The big cat prevented them from having a successful season, and so it had to go. What the villagers couldn't anticipate, however, was Yusef's tenacious attitude towards things he deemed as unjust. So he went to work dismantling the traps as fast as he could to save the animal from a horrible fate. He just didn't quite anticipate running into the actual tiger. It was his third day on the mission of dismantling the traps when he came across a situation he never thought he would ever experience in his lifetime. He had just started searching for the traps when he heard a strange low moan. At first, he couldn't quite place it at all. He simply followed the sound to see where it led. He thought perhaps it was a new species of bird he hadn't yet spotted. Boy, was he surprised when he saw what it actually was. 
There before him, tangled in the trap, was a very small tiger. At first he thought he was seeing things, but when he got closer, his fears were confirmed. There in front of him was a tiny tiger who had a broken leg from the horrific trap. Without hesitating, Yusef began to try and release the trap. He was almost done, but then mom showed up. The hair on the back of Yusuf's neck simply stood right up. He turned around to find himself faced with a fully grown tigress staring him down. He was so frightened, he didn't know what to do. He simply backed away from the cub and stood still, waiting to see what would happen. That's when the strangest thing occurred. The tigress simply pushed her cub toward Yusuf with her big head. It seemed she understood that only he could get her baby out of such a predicament. Yusuf didn't hesitate. He went to work straight away and released the cup from the trap. He held the poor little cat in his arms, unsure of what to do next. The tigress simply nudged her cup one more time, then turned her back and walked away. She had just given her baby to Yusuf. Yusuf was at a complete loss for words. Why did she just leave her cub with him? What was he supposed to do? He knew if he took the cub home, the villagers would protest it. But he also knew that if he didn't help the poor little animal, it wouldn't end well. So he did the unbelievable. Yusuf simply wrapped the cub up with his jacket and made his way home. He knew that he could help the cub heal if given the chance. And that was just what he was going to do. It took about a week before the whole village became aware of the cub living in Yusuf's home. It was safe to say they were not very happy at all. What started off as mild complaints soon began to turn into really nasty comments and pranks being pulled on their household. And one day, the young people of the town went a little bit too far. They lured Amelia to go with them into the woods and then left her there. Naturally, Yusuf and his wife were absolutely frantic. How could they do such a thing? Their child was defenseless and unsure of how to get home. If they didn't find her, she could get really hurt. But then, something unbelievable happened. As the couple was about to set off looking for her, Amelia emerged from the woods on the back of the tigress. The tigress had found the poor girl in distress and done what Yusuf had done for her cub. She had saved her. Yusuf found the courage to pet the tigress's head, and then led her to her recovered cub. The two of them reunited with a loud roar, and the entire community had the chance to watch both tigers leave Yusuf's home without harming him or his family. There and then, they realized that she was just a mother trying to provide for her cub, and decided to help Yusuf remove all the traps from the forest. They would learn to live in harmony with the wildcats, and in doing so, they would be in harmony with the whole world. What a beautiful ending. Would you have helped the cub? What do you think of farmers trying to trap a tiger? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, until next time.